Exciting times ahead for the Shiba Inu ecosystem and community because the day that we have all been waiting for is finally here. Shibarium, the Shiba Inu Layer 2 blockchain, has finally been launched. There's no need to beat around the bush for this one. Let's just get right into it. Disclaimer. Shibarium is here. Shaitoshi recently published a blog post on the ShibaSwap blog to usher in the Shibarium beta testnet. The beta version is called PuppyNet because it isn't the final product. Changes will be made to the net before it eventually grows into the actual Shibarium. But the beta is fully functional, and I'm pretty sure that many Shiba Inu holders are celebrating right now because this platform is unarguably the most anticipated project in the Shiba Inu community. According to the blog post, this beta phase will span over a couple of months. So bear in mind that we have a couple of months to wait for the final product to be launched. However, in the meantime, we can all access Shibarium Beta. The link is right there in the blog post and should also be on the official Sheep Twitter page. So you should go check it out and probably start building stuff. Something else that Shaitoshi stressed in that blog is the fact that everybody can build anything on Shibarium. Of course, whatever you build has to be beneficial to the ecosystem and the community, but Shibarium does not discriminate against builders. However, if you are looking for something more like special perks, some extra support, and what Shaitoshi calls a red carpet experience, there's provision for that. You just need to sign the Shibarium technology and take form. If you are looking to serve as a validator on Shibarium, you have missed the intake. Shaitoshi says that documentation will happen next week, so look out for that. But if you're just looking to build stuff, you can start doing your thing right now. All you need to do is get yourself some test bone and you're good to go. You can start right now if you want, or wait till the end of this video because there are a number of other updates that Shaitoshi revealed. For one, he mentioned that sheep burns will be tracked on Shibarium so that we are always aware of how many tokens have been burnt and this will start with the beta network. Secondly, the tokens that you'll see on this beta network, the PuppyNet, are not real tokens. So don't waste your money trying to stock up on them. Only buy enough to transact on the Shibarium beta testnet. Shaitoshi also stresses that it is important that you do your own research even now. There will be a number of projects introduced into Shibarium that are literally just scams. The dev team will try to get rid of them, but some of them will find a way. So make sure to do your own research before you hitch your wagon to any project. The two official Shibarium Twitter accounts are at ShibariumNet and at ShibariumTech. Make sure to get your information from those two accounts. According to Shaitoshi, do your own research even now. There are many tokens and projects that are being set up by less than perfect personalities and many will not survive. Do your own research before doing anything, and watch for those who carry the Shi banner but speak of other projects. Why not just carry your own banner? Let this be the first step in your own research. One more thing on the launch of Shibarium, if you already filled out the Shibarium technology intake form, Shaitoshi mentioned that you should expect to get an email today, so look out for that. If you are yet to fill the form, don't worry, it's not too late. The form is still accessible so you can still fill it. I have no idea when you will get the email though, but you could keep checking the Twitter accounts for updates. Now I know that there are different reactions to this launch and everything that Shaitoshi has said, so consider sharing your thoughts with us in the comments section below. And of course, you could just go in there to experience your excitement if that's all you want to do. One more thing to talk about from that blog though, if you are in Austin, consider checking out the Sheep the Metaverse booth. According to Shaitoshi, the Metaverse team set up an early alpha experience of the We're All Gonna Make It temple there. So consider checking things out if you are there. The pictures look really incredible if you ask me. Moving on from that, it looks like the time has come again for people to wonder about the actual identity of Ryoshi. Even though Ryoshi, the creator of Shiba Inu, has been quiet ever since he scrubbed his footprints off the internet, people have not stopped speculating about his identity. And for some reason, the rumors really spiked recently. So much that Shaitoshi himself had to set things straight. Apparently, a guy has been trying to convince people that Sam Bankman-Fried, the disgraced founder of the now-collapsed FTX, is Ryoshi. 
but before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 sheep. For a chance to participate in this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below, hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck. Also, there's now a membership option on this channel. Becoming a member gives you access to a private group chat with me where we get to discuss crypto gems, finances, and success. If you are interested, hit that membership button. I'm sure that you understand how detrimental it would be to Shiba Inu if it were true that Ryoshi was Sam Bankman Freed. So understandably, Shaitoshi had to set things straight. He basically had two pieces of evidence to show that Ryoshi is not SBF. One is that Ryoshi was a big fan of wrestling, WWF wrestling to be specific. He chose gifts of people like Macho Man Randy Savage and Ric Flair. At one point, he even considered getting Ric Flair for a sheep commercial. SBF wasn't even born at this time, so how could he even know how to step into a Slim Jim? Secondly, more importantly, Ryoshi, as seen in his posts, was not a fan of centralized exchanges, CEX, and would never have run one himself. Do better, Futters, do better. So yeah, what do you think? Are you convinced? Also, if you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. Anyway, speaking of Shaitoshi, he has unfortunately lost his blue tick on Twitter. It was just a few weeks back that we found out that Shaitoshi had gotten the blue tick. That blue tick was a welcome development because, to an extent, it helped the Shiba Inu community to avoid scams. Considering how important Shaitoshi is to the Shiba Inu community, many have pretended to be him to scam the community. But with the blue tick and also paying attention to the number of followers, Shiba Inu holders could then be sure of which account was actually Shaitoshi's. We don't know why the blue tick was removed, but someone accused Shaitoshi of being a scammer, saying that this is the reason the blue tick was removed. Shaitoshi did not take this lying down though. He responded to the tweet by thanking those that have actually been defending him and encouraged the community to ignore the FUD. He also mentioned that he has added Kusama back to his Twitter name and Twitter will re-verify. So it looks like the blue tick removal might have something to do with the fact that Shaitoshi removed the Kusama from his name at a point. This might have confused the powers that be at Twitter because they know the lead dev of Shiba Inu to be Shaitoshi Kusama, not just Shaitoshi. But of course, we don't have all the details. You can tell us what you think about this whole blue tick issue in the comments section below. That said, you might find this news interesting. The US has just been hit with the second biggest bank failure in its history. Silicon Valley Bank recently collapsed and it is understandably shaking the financial market and the tech market as well. Now, for better context, you should know exactly what Silicon Valley Bank is. According to Mashable, it was a commercial bank that largely served the tech industry. Tech companies and venture capital both banked with the company, which was more willing than other traditional banks to lend money to VC-backed startups that may have been lacking in cash flow. Read many tech startups. Unfortunately, the bank took one too many risks on startups, and then the pandemic happened, leading to its collapse. As I mentioned earlier, the collapse has affected a number of markets, including the crypto market. But within the crypto market, stablecoins have been hit the worst. A number of stablecoins have lost their pegs to the dollar. In fact, Coindesk pointed out that USDC in particular dropped lower than it did in the wake of the FTX collapse. That sounds quite worrying. This happened because Circle, the company that issues USDC, has more than $3 billion in deposits at Silicon Valley Bank, which is about 8% of its reserves. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a crypto white dump. The crypto market is already struggling enough. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.